All right, quick and dirty question. We've been asked to evaluate and express the answers in rational form. And again, rational form is just when you have an exponent, let's leave it in the exponent instead of actually calculating a final number. So we're going to try and get these all to the same base because we can't do any exponent laws if they're not in the same base. And what we could do is we could just grab our calculator and we could come up with a final number. But that's not what they asked us to do. They asked us to keep it in rational format. So what do we know? Well, first thing is I know that 3 to the negative 2 is 1 over 3 to the 2. I know that 6 to the negative 2 is 1 over 6 to the 2. I know that negative 9 to the negative 1 is negative 1 over 9 to the positive 1 or just that exponent is now gone. And you might ask yourself, well wait a second, what about the 3 over 2? Why didn't he touch the 3 over 2? Don't ever forget your best friend bed mass. And bed mass here is telling us to do anything inside the brackets first, which really there's nothing to do with that negative 9 inside the brackets, so he's done. And then to do the exponents next, so I took care of that. And only then can we move on to division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So let's leave the 1 over 3 to the power of 2 for now. Let's leave the 1 over 6 to the power of 2 for now. And now what I can do is, now I can take care, because we've done the exponents, there is arguably no division, even though the fractions are division, and we're going to focus now on the multiplication. So I'm going to multiply the 3 halves with the negative 1 ninth. And instead of giving me a positive answer, I'm actually going to have a negative answer, and that's going to be 3 over 18. And so now we're stuck between a rock and a hard place because we've been asked to put it in rational form. But none of these are common denominator. I've got none of these are common base, and I've really got nowhere to go. So let's expand out first, and then we'll simplify. And that kind of comes back to our grade grades before where we would actually be asked to expand and simplify. So I've got 1 over 9. I've got 1 over 36. And I've got the 3 over 18. Now I can start to see some common denominators. The common number here is 9, where 9 goes into 18, 9 also goes into 36. And what that means is my common denominator is actually 36, because it's the only number that I can get 2 from all of these numbers. So I need to multiply this by 2 to get to 36. I need to multiply this by 4 to get to 36. So we've got 4 over 36, we've got 1 over 36, and now I'm going to multiply this by 2, so we've got 6 over 36, which 4 take away 1 take away 6 is negative 3 over 36. Simplify that, we get negative 1 over 12, and that's your quick and dirty answer.